Hey, okay, so here's the thing. Project Foursome is still a thing. And we are already at day two. And I witnessed a lot of Project Foursome, Sharpie Face. I also made a donation and got a great perk. The Special Edition Tiffius book. Which is basically the, the usual Tiffius, but with a nicer cover. But, you know, being a huge Tiffius fan, I just had to get it, okay? And it was on sale for only $30, so I really had to get it. Oh yeah, that was fun, because it did not accept my credit card for like 5 minutes. And I was like, come on, come on, it's just 15 minutes left. Oh yeah. Um, anyway, so I also watched a few... A project for awesome videos and I want to talk about it I, in, especially I want to talk about one charity which I think is pretty cool which I think I'm gonna make this video about and then have a second P4A video because yeah two channels two P4A videos why not um, it, it's late but <laughs> why not um, so the charity is called um, Girls Who Code. And I had a look through a lot of their stuff. Um, and I also watched videos um, from Google who sponsors them. Can you see that? Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, basically, they want to get more girls into computer science. Which I personally think is great. Um, so... I'm also in computer science, in case you don't know. I'm studying computer science. And I do code since high school. So, since 10 years. Um, now, why do I think more girls should code? Well, first of all, a plain personal reason. If the field I'm working in consists of men only, the environment is just not as nice as if there are women as well. Like women also, uh, women always make the uh, workplace more interesting. I think, but that's just yeah, that's that's just a personal thing. Um, because men and women are different. Yes, you feminists can argue with me about that, but we are different. I can stand peeing, for instance. You can't. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's totally not the point. Um, because the point is, um, girls are taught or like they don't want to go in computer science because they think they can't do it. Or most of them think that. And I think the problem is really in our education. Let me give you an example. Um, I am a computer scientist. And whenever somebody asks me, so what do you study? Or which course are you in? I tell them, computer science. And 50% of the girls are usually like, whoa, I couldn't do that. Um, well, the first reaction is, whoa, interesting. And then I ask them, why? What, what's so... What's so special about computer science and then they they say they usually say I could never do something like this um, interestingly boys don't boys just say yeah that sounds hard or um, that seems like a lot of work or something like this but they never say I couldn't um, they decided to do something else yes um, but they never say I couldn't. Um, and the girls are like, I can't even use Excel. How, how can I do programming? And that's the next reason. I'm like, oh, well, computer science is not using computer programs. Because I also suck at using computer programs, especially some Microsoft products. Oh, I love Microsoft products. Um, yeah. So, really, the problem is that they think they can't do it. 
But actually, I think everybody can learn how to code. Um, and I, I, somewhere, I, I don't know where, but I heard the difference between girls and boys, how they are raised. Um, because the boys are all like... No, start with the girls. The girls are like, they told, oh, you did a great job here. Oh, you did that so nice. Um, and the boys are more like, ah, whatever. And they, um, whenever they did, uh, or they are told, you can do this if you work harder. And this mentality does not get to the girls. The girls are like, oh, I can do this, that's great, I'm good at this. Um, but if they get to something new, which they can't do already, they don't think, oh, I can learn it. But rather, I just can't do it. So that is the problem, people. That is the problem. You can learn how to code. Everybody can learn that. And we really need more computer scientists. Like, computer scientists... Everybody use, needs a computer scientist. Like, every company uses computer scientists. Um, and there will be so many jobs available for computer scientists. Um, because that's just the trend where our economy is going at the moment. That's why I don't have uh, fear that I won't get a job. Because... I, I, I mean, I will be the one who decides, do I want to work for this company or do I want to work for this other company? And I don't have to get the first offer, like, I don't have to accept the first offer I get. Um, so, yeah, go into engineering, girls, and, yeah, I, I voted for the, for the girls who code uh, charity. It's just a, a thing in, in the US, as far as I heard. Um, I don't think that there's anything here in Europe, but there should be. The problem is in our education. In schools, people are not taught how to program. They are taught how to use programs. And that's something totally different. And it's much nicer to actually code than to use programs because pff, pff, using programs is just boring um, yeah so I think the education should change um, and it can only change if we have pro pro projects like girls who code um, and that's why I voted for them now, if you excuse me, I'll continue watching the live stream. Now that I missed like two hours because I was asleep. <laughs> Always these evening naps. <laughs> I don't know why, but... <coughs> past few days are always... Oh, I'm so tired. Let, let's go to sleep for a few hours. Um, and then I'm up <coughs> till late at night. Yeah, so... DFTBA... Don't forget to be awesome. Don't forget to vote for your charities and don't forget to donate and get cool perks at the Indiegogo f at the Project for Awesome. And then watch the live stream. Ha! Ah, good times. Project for Awesome. Always fun. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go back. The live stream. Um, you! Come back your backup. See you tomorrow. <laughs>